Hey guys, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do kind of like a garden yard, home, just homestead update today because, um, yeah, I have been very busy getting all my survival and <laughs> buck out gear together because forest fires have been around for the past week or so. Um, we got some rain today, but right now the power's out, so. Um, and I got a day off, so I got a bit of time here uh, before I start harvesting more stuff. I've been doing tons of like vegetable harvesting and well, mostly herb har harvesting and curing and processing. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some of that stuff and uh, show you how the garden's going too. So a lot of stuff I've been processing. This is actually some smoked salt uh, a friend gave me. So I'm going to start making this stuff. It's going to be good. And uh, time. I got lemongrass. Um, this is all stuff from a couple of years ago, actually. So mojito mint, chives, orange mint. I got oregano, dill, yarrow, which I'm starting to use like medicinal plants and stuff. Um, parsley, sage, and thyme from a couple of years ago with the flowers in it. And I also got this yarrow flower, which um, apparently is really good for like preventing. Uh, wounds like uh bleeding it stops bleeding if you put that powder on your uh on your open wound and apparently that's quite known so yeah that's all i've been working on for the past couple days here hey the power just came back on <laughs> but i got a cilantro here it's drying um lemon balm i got a uh, nasturtium flowers more sage and uh basil and then I got uh, onion scapes here. I'm gonna turn to onion powder. And I also got oh, all my garlic here. Not all my garlic, there's a bit garlic. Bit of garlic left I'm gonna harvest in like a week, like the big bulbs. But this is most of it. Um, my first successful garlic harvest, you guys. So this is exciting. It's uh, red Russian garlic. So it's pretty big. These ones aren't bad. They're not huge, but I got some big ones that are still still growing a bit, so. Yeah. My landscaping and horticulture stuff in here. My plant stuff for my business. I don't know. It's all very useful. But I got a new machine. It's got a lot more power. So it makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Starting to get firewood for the winter. Um, yeah, having to leave my compost piles because the garden snakes have... Uh, made it their home, or garter snakes rather. And uh, a little celery I'm gonna plant. We got uh, parsley here. This is where a lot of stuff I harvested was. I'm gonna plant more stuff for the fall right away. Um, let's look in the greenhouse first. Greenhouse is looking pretty good. Um, got lots of stuff coming up. We got lemongrass there. Tomato plants, which are getting massive. Starting to get some tomatoes on there. I'm gonna have to give it, give it some uh, blooming nutrients to help though. Um, last couple bulbs of garlic. Wait a week. Got cabbage in there. Carrots that are pretty much ready to harvest. Um, What's that? Brussels sprout plant. Got pepper plants doing really good. I think those are jalapeno plants, both of them. We got these cannabis plants. Auto flowers doing really good. Um, they are sour girls, the strain that it's called. And yeah, I got my basil marigold tomato combos, which helps the tomatoes. And yeah, I got that over here too. These are different tomato plants, like some of them are cherries, some of them are uh, what are they call beef steaks. Some and yeah, there's others too. Um, like these ones. These ones are smaller, but. They have a shorter season, they're called Manitoba tomatoes. I think I talked about them in the last video. Uh, avocado plant is, I don't know, it's doing okay. It doesn't look great, but I'm hoping I can get an avocado tree going. These cannabis plants here are blackberry kush. They look pretty good. Mm, these are cherry tomato plants. No tomatoes yet, but they're getting a decent size. Um, these are bell peppers. Um, I think these will do pretty good, hopefully. Um, 
another blackberry kush, uh, cabbage, which I think is starting to form cabbage heads. It's just, oh, it's just like getting, getting eaten by pests like crazy, but it's pretty common. I just got to make sure to spray it more and try and do what I can at least. Um, couple pepper plants, sweet pea plant, another Manitoba tomato. And yeah, I think that's it for the greenhouse. So we will go over to the garden here, which is looking pretty crazy. I'm rather happy. I've been getting lots of stuff out of it, so. Oh, let's get this gate open. Um, barrage, that's what this is called. Just popped up randomly. It's like an edible flower. Good for pollinators and everything. Um, dahlia, purple dahlias, or these are the blue poppies, that's what those are, um, Brussels sprout plants, got all my, uh, dill in here, I'm gonna harvest all the dill seeds and the flowers, use it for planting and pickling, um, these are all my arugula, plants they're pretty much they're like done they just need uh to be pulled out and i want to get all the seeds off of them and replant so i can get more arugula in the fall and uh the zucchini plant looks pretty good um we got these more barrage here we've got uh what are these uh brussels sprouts uh lemon balm Oh, so we have beans, lots of beans here. There's going to be lots of beans here, hopefully. Um, kale. And what else? Sage, thyme, and rosemary. Uh, mint. Nasturtium. Nasturtium. Uh, some tomato plants hiding in here. There's a nice cannabis plant there hiding in there. Um, these gigantic sunflowers are taller than me now, so that's cool. This is going to be huge. Um, this is all my bok choy that's done. I'm just letting it go so I can get the seeds off it. And a nice tomato plant there. Um, there's a cannabis plant in here. I forget, I forget which one that is. I'm gonna, I think I have the label around somewhere, so I should be able to tell. Yeah, lots of dill everywhere, too. Uh, corn popping up there, more beans, feed the soil nitrogen, which is good. Same with this uh, clover, clover feeds the soil nitrogen too. So I leave the clover usually, plant lots of beans to help feed the soil. Um, got another zucchini plant here, which is starting to, starting to grow. I don't know, it'll get pretty big I think. I got those zucchinis going, and they usually do really well. Um, Swiss shard, been getting a lot of Swiss shards, so that's cool. Um, what are these called? Morning glory, yeah, morning glory. So flowers could be popping up on this right away. I just put the the rope there so it has something to grow on. It's like a vine thing. I think this is uh, cantaloupe or honeydew. I can't remember, but all my onions are in here. I have to give them a water. Some of them are kind of dying back, but. I'm gonna leave those ones because they'll, uh, if they're not that big, I'm just gonna leave them in there and then hopefully they'll come back. Uh, once I cut the dead off at least, but, uh, these are the, <laughs> these are gonna be the big, uh, harvesters this year is these, uh, squash plants. They're just getting massive. These ones are tall or as tall as me or taller than me. Um, yeah, I'm just tying them up, let them grow on along the fence. Try not to let them grow on this side because then the deer will be able to eat them. So, um, lots of deer, lots of turkeys. So I gotta try and keep out of the garden. So these are my potato plants. I don't know, potato plants, for some reason I've been struggling with. These two are, or that one looks good, but some of these other ones are not doing so hot because, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I need, I need to figure it out. What's going on with my potato plants, but they're still alive, most of them. They just, uh, I want to make sure they produce a lot because potatoes are supposed to be easy. And for some reason, I've been getting lots of uh, pests and a bit of disease on them the past couple of years. So 
Hopefully I'll get that figured out. Meadow, meadow's looking good. I think I'm going to cut all that dead grass at some point. It's just, I don't know, the turkeys and the deer really like it. They're in there, like, eating grass all the time. And, uh, yeah, I think it's good to have a meadow kind of in the back, away from the house, you know. I, I cleared a big path here just so that I don't have to walk through. Um, long grass when you're coming out here. Um, this is my this is the yarrow patch. It's pretty sick. Lots of yarrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna harvest more yarrow because it's uh, it has like a ton of uses. I was reading up online and it's been used for like thousands of years. Um, there's a couple things that it's like 100% it helps with, and then there's other things that I think it helps with that haven't been tested by science yet. So it's not like Western science has figured it all out, but a lot of this stuff is like na ancient knowledge that's been known for like thousands of years that, you know, indigenous people know, Ch people in China know these, they've used it all over the world apparently for thousands of years. So it's very interesting. Yeah. But if you didn't see my last videos, my, the idea here is kind of to create a, like a little wildlife sanctuary here. So there's a lot of wildlife here, so that's cool. Um, they feel safe here, so create a little wildlife sanctuary, sustainable, regenerative garden, and uh, yeah, wildlife sanctuary, good idea when they do clear cuts like that, because yeah, all the wild that was old growth, and they did a really bad job of the clear cut, and uh, yeah, they're gonna. I don't know, it just drives a lot of wildlife out. So if you can make, if you have property, or if you're taking care of property, like I am. Um, you can, you know, try and make it as good, good as for the wildlife as you can. Uh, just, just cause, yeah. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, um, do all that stuff. <laughs> Please and thank you. Uh, yeah, it's nice it's getting sunny out here. The smoke's going away. We had some rain today. Uh, clear out the smoke that was here, so. I don't know, kind of hoping we get more, but see what happens. Uh, it's been like extremely hot here. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be making another video right away. I'm supposed to go camping in a pretty cool spot. So I might do like a little like road trip camping video, survival video, kind of show some stuff and do some cooking. And yeah, <laughs> but uh, thanks again, guys. And I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.